Volvo's performance sub-brand Polestar has pulled the covers off its first production model and established itself as a standalone entity. The Polestar 1 is set to arrive in mid-2019 and makes use of an electric drivetrain that is supported by a 2.0-liter, four-cylinder petrol engine that powers the front wheels. Combined, the petrol and electric motors produce 592 bhp and 1,000 nm of torque, while the hybrid GT car can travel further than 90 miles on electric power alone. Polestar View Photos Polestar, more. Polestar CEO Thomas Ingenlaff said, The Polestar 1 is a performance electric hybrid, but with the longest pure electric range of any hybrid car in the world, we consider it an electric car with support from an internal combustion engine. All future cars from Polestar will be electric performance vehicles, but the Polestar 1 bridges today's technology with the future, offering the perfect drivetrain for a grand touring coupe that's likely to be used over longer distances as well as shorter, faster, enjoyable journeys. The Polestar 1's largely carbon fiber body sits upon Volvo's scalable platform architecture, reducing weight and improving torsional stiffness by 45% while lowering the car's center of gravity. Polestar View Photos Polestar, more. In a move away from the traditional ownership model, Polestar cars will be ordered online and offered on a two- or three-year subscription. Monthly payments will cover servicing, as well as the ability to rent other Polestar and Volvo models. The Swedish manufacturer also confirmed Polestar 2 a mid-sized battery electric vehicle, to rival the likes of the Tesla Model 3, would start production in 2019. This would be followed by Polestar 3, an all-electric SUV-style vehicle. Order books for the Polestar 1 are now open.